Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Serpinis and in this video for bypassing WAF course of Hacking9 magazine we are going to examine uh, WAF fingerprinting with Burp Suite. So as you can see here we can open Burp Suite if we have Java installed in our, our computer and this is the first window that we're going to see. First things first, Burp Suite is an integrated platform for performing pen, uh, security testing of web applications. Uh, this it is of course a really powerful tool that does many things, but we are going to use it as an HTTP proxy to filter HTTP requests and uh, manually examine these request, requests to find if there is any uh, web application firewall in the web server okay so uh, I'm gonna use for this project a temporary project so I hit next and I'm going to use the verb default I start and this is the main window of verb suite the next thing we have to do is open a browser uh, in this situation I'm going to use Firefox go in the options in the advanced tab uh, here in the network tab of the advanced uh, here and in the connection settings we're going to head inside and we're going to use a manual proxy configuration uh, which will head into the 127.0.0.1 IP address which is the local host and in port 8080 and we are going to select this box here which is to use this proxy server for all protocols so SSL, FTP and SOX proxies uh, we click OK uh, yes and now we are ready to use the burp proxy uh, Bear proxy is the second tab of the main tabs up here as you can see Firefox already has uh, updated some something and it made an HTTP request so let's see what is all about for example if we select uh, try to navigate to a website you see that here Burp Suite has something to show us. If we select it, we see that an HTTP GET request uh, is requested from the browser and Burp Suite stops it to show us the request to let us uh, edit it and we have, of course as you can see we can uh, edit anything that is inside the request here you can see that here is the cookie header that gives us many information about WAFs you can see in the course uh, that a good example of fingerprinting uh, a WAF is uh, that into the cookie the HTTP header here of the cookie we can find uh, the ns underscore af part uh, that uh, unveils the net stall, uh, the net scaler WAF uh, that it is presented into this web server. So after we uh, have this HTTP request, we can edit it, and after uh, this, we can forward it. So to be able to go to the server or we can drop it if we do not want to reach the server or if we want to see the response of the server in a dropped request so for this time let's forward this request Okay, as you can see here, we have an error because uh, 
maybe uh, we are late in submitting the request some requests uh, expire so here we had uh, maybe an expired request let's let's forward fast to see what happens uh, another point that we ha that I didn't mention is that in the proxy tab here we have to select the intercept is on uh, for the proxy to work if we select intercept is off uh, the proxy of burp suite will not intercept any HTTP uh, requests on or response uh, so if we want to work with uh, the burp suite proxy we're going to have to have this uh, button selected so let's head to another website let's go to gmail okay you see here another request uh, let's forward it fast here okay Okay, uh, so now let's see uh, the other usage scenarios of these uh, HTTP requests. Uh, another really, really interesting uh, usage of this uh, proxy tab is the action menu. So you can see here that if I select the action menu, uh, we have many options here. We can send it to Spider, where we can spider the website and find uh, many uh, URLs and uh, uh, the topology of the website uh, we can send it to intruder to perform uh, some types of attacks uh, we can send it to repeater to perform uh, brute force or rainbow table attacks and many other uh, options for this free edition of course of the burp suite if we have the pro version you can see that we have more options so here to give you an example uh, as you can see we have a parameter uh, to put the path here which is true let's say uh, a good example of uh, fingerprinting uh, WAF is changing these parameters to see the responses of the server so for example let's say false in this and after we changed this path we hit forward and we get the next uh, HTTP request uh, we can examine everything we can examine what uh, this uh, space of the cookie uh, header means uh, Okay, let's go forward uh, and you can see how many uh, parameters we can find here uh, that we can examine and <coughs> they can show us uh, if a WAF is presented or not. Okay, let's forward here. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, this was a brief introduction of the Burp Suite and how we can use it to fingerprint a web application firewall. Uh, you can see more information about it uh, in the course of bypassing WAFs. And thank you for watching. We are going to speak in the next video. Goodbye.